Hello everyone, this is Board Games Bourbon, I'm Glenn Flaherty. Thanks for joining us for this live playthrough of the solo mode of Shadow Kingdoms of Valeria. Now the solo mode does play like the multiplayer, so you're going to get a good feel for everything here. There are a few rules I'll talk about really fast, but all the rules all together I've talked about in my review video, so if you do check that out. Now uh, what we have here is a game that I'm about to set up, and there are a few rule changes from the multiplayer. In this game, you're going to have an adversary, and the adversary travels around the board here, and they do a few things. Whatever shrine they're in, you cannot go in. If you are in a shrine and they land on you, they get two points. And when they come all the way over here to the shrine that allows them to get a battle plan, they get points based on the value of the battle plans they're trying to get. So, for example, you'll see this card here and this card here. This card here has two symbols on it. If they get that one right there, they're going to get nine points. If they get this one here that has three symbols on it, they're going to get 12. And if there's one with four symbols on it, they're going to get 15. Uh, additionally, when we play it on the awards over here, you can see this award over here says, uh, for me, if I get one of every kind of battle plan, I can get seven points. Any card that I am not on, the adversary is going to get seven points. If I am on one, they're going to get five. And uh, like that, everything else is pretty much the same. In this game, you put two dice out per shrine, and then you reset it when you get to three die total everywhere, three dice. And uh, remember over here, we have these champions to try to get. You have instant ones that happen right away, ongoing ones, and ones that are end game scoring conditions that the price goes up depending on how many you have. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. I got my trusty cup of coffee to help us make it through, and let's see who will win this one. All right, so uh, my move, I am going to start. The game is over when seven cars have been bought. So I'm looking over here. There's a lot of red on the board, so probably what I'll do is I am going to... I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to not overextend myself. I have a habit of doing that, but I am going to go over here. I'm going to try to... Uh, buy a plan. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to pick up this number one plan here. It gives me a five discount. And with that five discount, I am going to buy this card over here. Now this has three reds on it and it has catapult. Catapult's going to help me achieve this card over here. I'm going to put it right here. And when I fill this slot, it says I may spend one of my currency and magic starts at three. Currency starts at three. And my tracker for my battle starts at 10. I may spend one of my currency to raise this tracker up to 11. By doing that, I've already taken myself from only getting three points per plan completed to six. So I've doubled it. If I can get it up to 14, I get nine. If I get it to 16, I get 12. That was my move. Adversary moves. I do want another red. So I'm going to come up here. To get a gem, I'm going to put this five here, and I'm going to grab a gem. Now, my capacity is one, but if I remove this blocker, I'll have three. Adversary moves. Now, you see the game moves very, very quickly, which is a real joy for the solo mood. But it moves really fast in the multiplayer, too, which I'm pretty happy about. <sighs> okay, so I have two reds. I need a third red. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab this three here. I'm going to grab two more magic. So I was on three. That bumps it up to five. Adversary moves. I'm also happy that right now, should the adversary get over here to buy a battle plan, there's only a number two battle plan, which is only nine points. At this point, I can pretty much come back to my base camp and complete this card. Now, I have a five, I have a three, and I have a one for a total of nine points. So I'm going to have to spend some magic and roll it up, but that's totally cool with me. I'm going to come here. I'm going to complete this battle plan. Now, when we look at this battle plan, there's a couple different ways that I can uh, complete this. Um, so I'm probably going to do something pretty special here. I'm going to apply my five die. I'm going to apply my three die. I'm going to spend two magic to roll it up to another five. And then I have my one. And with that, I've met my uh, requirement of 11 points. These are out of the game for the moment. 11 points is going to give me six right away on the board. So bumps me up to six. The card is completed and I can now move a blocker from this board over here in a couple of different ways. I can either move it to an area that has reds or has the catapult and I'll get a benefit. So when we look at my little skirmish board over here, what do we have? Uh, the catapult. If I go here for the catapult, I'm going to get two points, but probably more wise is I get one point for every red that's on my card and I have three. So I'm going to do that. So I completed it. That goes right there. I have to choose one of these to move here. 
And what I like to do is I like to take my blocker here so I can have maximum battle in the future. I'm gonna place that right here and I'm gonna get another three points, one, two, three. So that was actually a nine point card for me, not bad. Adversary moves here, they're gonna complete this card. There's two symbols on it, that means they get nine points, that means we're tied. Normally for the adversary, when they do stuff like this, you know, you move cards uh, to the side or if you flush them out with your magic, you shuffle it back into the bottom of the deck. But, you know, for this game and this purpose, I'm just putting them off to the side. So they have one completed contract. I have one completed contract. Okay. Uh, next move. What do I want to do here? Hmm. I, I, I think I want to go here. So I... Nothing over here, unfortunately, uses brown, and these are only brown diet. But I do have a gem that can let me change the color in the future. So I think what I'll do is I'll go here first. I'm going to grab this four. When I grab this four, this four also says negative two on it. Negative two gives me a discount on a card. I'm going to go ahead and buy this card. That would normally buy three. But what this says is if I get a card off the line, I get a two discount ongoing. So I'm gonna buy that card. It's three points, I get a discount of two, that puts me down to one. Replenish, adversary moves. Okay, I do wanna get a card. So what I wanna do here, I go here, I'm gonna move here, I'm gonna pick up this three. This three has a discount of three, I'm gonna buy this card right here that has three, that's worth three points. It has two green symbols and a dark navy blue black symbol on it. I'm going to put that there. Now, the, another reason I chose that is that it has an arrow on it. I already have a catapult. Those are two of the three symbols to complete this card, so I'm trying to get those points. All right, so I'm going to go there. I have a discount of three. I bought it for three. I can spend a coin to bump up my tracker here to 12, getting me closer to what I need. I'm going to replenish the line. Adversary moves. Okay. So uh, I need another green. So I'm going to move up here. Ah, but you know what? Shoot. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll move up here. I'm going to grab this five, but I can't grab a gem because my capacity is one and I already have one. Shucks. What can you do? But the good thing is I'm at 12. Uh, right now I have five. I have eight. I have 12 points here. Adversary moves, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back to my base camp and I'm going to complete this card. So I'm going to spend my gem to pretend one of my cards is wild. That'll be the brown. I'm going to pretend that that's the uh, the dark color die. I have seven. I have 12 right there, and that's completed. Okay, so these die are out of the game. Uh, when the areas have no dice on it, I can't go there. And I'm down to four, I need to be down to three, and then I replenish. Okay, so looking at this card here, again, I can kind of fill it in two different ways. I can either get a bow and arrow, or I can get something for a dark symbol or something for the green symbols. Here it says I'm going to get one point for every green symbol, which I probably am going to do. So I'm going to put this over here, move my coffee out of the way. Let me show you what I mean there. I'm going to use the green symbols on this. And when I do that, right, I'm going to get one point for every green symbol. There's two green symbols. I'm probably going to remove this from my dicer. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to get, for completing my card at level 12, I get six points. So I'm at nine. That brings me to 15. I trigger this event that gives me one extra victory point for green symbols, of which there are two. So I have two more. And now, because I have blocked here, and I have blocked here, I get this benefit in the middle, which is going to give me two free magic, which is great. Now I spend that magic to roll my dice up and I use it to uh, clear cards out uh, from the bottom of the deck, you know, try to get new things there. Okay, so I completed my card, adversary moves right there. Now, unfortunately the card the adversary is gonna get here is a three symbol on their turn. That means they're going to get 12 points. So not much I can do about that. But they're at 9. If they get 12, they're going to be at 21. Not that far ahead of me. I do have to kind of plan. I can't go here, unfortunately, because he's blocking two of the dice I need for most of these things. I can go here, get a high brown, which might be useful. 
So I'm going to go here. I'm going to take this five, and that's going to give me the benefit of either two points or fulfilling one of these cards. I'm just going to take the two. And I took that die. Um, the adversary is uh, going to move here. They're going to complete this card here. That's going to be their second card. That's a three uh, symbol one, so they get 12 points. Again, I'm at nine, that puts them at 21. And now that I'm down to three die, I'm gonna replenish the board. Put three gems in the gem shrine. Put all these dice here, shuffle it up, redistribute two. The game moves so fast. Kind of amazing. It goes even faster if you're not talking during it. Okay. So it's going to be my turn here. So what am I going to do? I got a brown. All right. I God, I really want to get to 14 too, but at 12 it's still doable. At 12 I can still complete a card. I have one brown. No brown on the line. My goodness. Is there anything over here that's pretty useful? Mm, what I might do. I might come here. I'm going to grab this one. This one pointer gives me a five point discount. And I think what I'm going to do is with that one, dis with a five discount, um, this says here every time I complete one of those cards, I'm going to get a, uh, a bow and arrow card to get two extra victory points. I do need to get a battle axe over here. So I need something maybe that's conducive to having those symbols. Um, I think what I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to take that one. I'm going to take this this red. I'm going to take this red. It's a four-point discount. Still is good. It's going to give me this card here. And what this card lets me do is it lets me bump my tracker up to 14. Because I bumped it up to 14, that means instead of six, now I'm going to get nine points when I complete a card. Now, that is my second one. Oh, and I had that discount of two points when I buy cards off the line. Hmm, good, I gotta remember that. Okay, adversary moves. Okay. Um, let's see, what do I wanna do here? Probably wanna buy one of these cards and try to defeat it. I have a brown, I have a red. I can't get red, because that's where the adversary is. I can't get the dark one, because that's where I am. Hmm. Questions, questions, questions. I do need money. Money's always good. I could go for a gray. I'll go here. I'm going to get a gray, a number four gray, and it's going to give me two money. So I go from three up to five. The adversary moves. Um, I don't have a gem, but I really could use a gem. I don't need a green, but I, I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab this three red and I'm going to take a gem so I can pretend something's a different color. The adversary moves. Now I can buy off the line. I have a discount whenever I buy anything off the line. So even the most expensive is only going to be three, three coins. I have two reds and uh, a gray. Uh, it doesn't really help me with much of anything. I could pretend I'm at 14. There's no way I can get 14. I'm at level 14. Two die will not make it. This is a two uh, die here. I need to get dark colors. I need to get another gray. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to pick up this gray. I'm going to get rid of this brown because you can do that. You can substitute it. I'm going to ditch that out. I'm going to take two more magic. Bumps me up from seven to nine. The adversary moves again. Hmm. I have two grays. Okay. I have two reds. I'm going to come here. I'm going to take this dark color number one. And I forgot to fill this in. Let me do that again. I am going to put this in place of this three. So that goes out of the way. And I get a big discount. I get five discount on anything I need. And I am trying to fill hmm, some cards. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one. Again, this will be free. I'm at my card limit. But when I take this card here, it lets me get a die for free. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that right there. So now I can grab a die of my choice and put it on my board. But what do I want? Mm, I really want to get a... Really nothing I want there. Because I can't complete anything. 
Um, nah, I'm not going to do that. It's not the one I'm going to take. Let's put that back. Um, I think what I'm going to do is some interesting symbols in here I haven't seen before. I think what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to go ahead and grab... Gosh, darn. Decisions, decisions. That would have given me... You know what? I'm going to grab this card here because it's going to bump me up by two again. Fine. So I go from 14 up to 16. 16 means I'm going to get 12 points if I beat a card. Adversary moves. They're going to complete a number two. They've completed three of their seven. By completing two, they're going to get nine points. So they're going to be up to 30. Okay. I've got to uh, gotta make uh, action happen here, people. So what I'm going to do is I am going to... Hmm. Let's see. I have 16... I can possibly pull off this card here. Uh, but I really need this one here. But I can maybe pull this one off here. Uh, 16 with 3 die. So I could flip this once during the battle to 6. I have 5 here, which is 11. I can spend my magic and I can bump each of those up. Um, so you know what I'm doing? I'm going to come here to my camp. I'm going to buy this card off the line. Now, I have something that says if I buy it off the line, I get a two discount. So I only spend one coin to grab this card. So I'm trying to complete this card right now. What I am going to do is I'm going to spend my, my uh, gem here to treat this four as a blue. Okay? I have... Uh, then I have this blue here, and I have this three here. Okay, so I have nine here. So I can roll this up five to make it a six. I have to spend five magic to do so, so I'm down to uh, four. So I'm at ten. And I am at sixteen here, so I need to spend three more to roll this up to six. One, two, three. And I have done it. Okay, so I spent the money. I bought it off the line. I manipulated the die. Now I can pull this off. So I'm going to spend these. This is completed. Now the question is, how do I want to complete this? Do I want to complete it using a bow and arrow? Do I want to complete it using the two symbols here? I think that's what I want to do. Because on my board, it says I get one point for every two dark symbols. Or I could complete this here. And I could get uh, those symbols another time. Uh, bone arrows equal two. Either way, the kicker for both of those is going to be that I get one extra die. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this over here. I'm going to take something off the board, which I believe is going to be my gem because I need those. I'm going to place it here. And I'm going to take all my points. So I completed this at a level 16. That's going to give me 12 points. I... I'm at 17, so that puts me at 29. I get two more points. That puts me at 31, one point in front. Plus, it lets me grab a die off the board. Hmm. Boy, what die do I want, though? Well, brown doesn't seem to be anything I want. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to take a free... Well, you know what? I'll try to go for this one. I'll take this five off the board. That's what I'll do. Adversary moves. Okay, so I have three, adversary is three. I get to pick one thing here, and I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, I think I'm going to try to go for this one because I need that I need that symbol. I have two bow and arrows. Well, I could go for a third bow and arrow, but there's no bow and arrow on there. Three axes, no. One of each is really what I need. I need to get a battle axe. That's what I got to do. Um, okay, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to go ahead and take a green. Green is a little bit more flexible because it's up here. Maybe I can manipulate it with a gem. Uh, I have a discount of five, so I'm going to go ahead and just pull this off the board because I need it. That's going to go here. Okay. Uh, I can pay one to bump this up to 17. Ah, I don't want to do that right now. Okay, that's going to go right there. This is going to slide down. That was my turn. Adversary is going to move, and now I'm going to replenish the board. Let's see here. This gets replenished over here, too. Hmm. So how am I going to get these blues? 
you know, even if I don't complete this right here, I can just go here and buy it off the line. So it's also pretty helpful. Okay, great. There's a blue there that I need, and it can get me a gem. That makes me happy. Okay, another blue. Feeling good about this. Uh, all right, there's a red. I need red, and there's a red. I need that red too. Oh, good, lots of reds. Okay, so it's going to be back to me. Now, I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab this five, put it right there, adversary moves. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to grab this uh, three, and I'm going to toss my one out of the way, adversary moves, and then I am going to come over, and I get a gem, by the way, and then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab this blue. I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to bump my magic up to three adversary moves. So the adversary moves here. This is off the board. They now have four completed. That's a number three. So they're going to get 12 points. They're at 30. They're now at 42. <sighs> Can I pull off this card? I need to have 16 points. What do I have here? I have five. I have 12. That's not too bad. I can probably manipulate this, make that happen. I could roll the two up to a four, right? So I have five, I can make that a four. I'm trying to complete this card here. So what I could do is I could make this five, I can make that four, that's nine. And then I have five, so 14, and I just use my magic to roll it up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come back to my base camp. I'm going to, on this card, apply a number five. I am going to spend my gem to roll this two, flip it over from the two to the five, so I have 10. I have a three, and I am going to spend two, boom, boom. I don't think you even need to do that, do I? Because I have 13. Uh, yeah, I just need to spend one and make that a three. Good, so I did it. Okay, so I spent my money there. This is completed. That's out for now. That goes there. Now, the question is, however, with that card, what am I going to unblock? Well, I'm clearly going to unblock this because my limit is three cards right now and I want to have six. I'm going to take my blocker. I can do a battle axe somewhere. Um, I can do two reds somewhere. And let's take a look here. I think what I'm going to do is on this card, I'm going to do the battle axe. So, okay. And what that's going to do is that's going to let me grab a champion card, I believe is what that means. And let's see. Uh, what does that symbol mean? I'm going to look it up here. Champion for free, yeah. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is, first of all, I completed the card at 16. That's going to give me 12 points. So I'm going to be at 43, one point ahead. I'm going to take this blocker off. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to gain two more points. I'm at 45. It lets me gain a champion for free. So it's really a good thing that I opened that up. Um, okay, what champion do I want? I can get anything. Um, this one here says I get bonus points if I have that gray symbol, but I don't have a lot of gray symbols. I don't have a lot of end game cards here. Oh, that's my coffee maker going off. Uh, one point for every coin, which I'm not too worried about. Hmm. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab this one here because it says I get two points. This says I get two points for every end game card I have, including this. So it's basically like getting two points. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab that one. I'm going to put that right there. Bring my skirmish board back here. And I'm going to put that down. Okay. So that was me. That was my turn. Okay. So we're going to replenish the board here. The enemy moves. And I'm going to replenish the board here as well. Boy, they're at four. I'm only at three. Okay. Mm. So... What I really want to do is I kind of want to go there instantly, kind of finish that off. Um, I'm in good position to also complete uh, a bow and arrow card. That'd be really good. Um, let's see. What do I want to do here? What's on the board that looks doable? This has some browns and greens. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab this brown. It gives me a three-point discount. And... What do I want to do here? Now, there's a symbol I haven't seen before, this square symbol here. Now, this is a prototype, as you know. Some of the symbols do change, and I don't even see that symbol listed in the book. So, 
because I don't see that symbol, let's see, is it listed? I do not see that listed. So I'm just gonna get rid of this since I don't know what it is. Let's put a new one out. Mm, every time I complete that, I get two points, not bad, two battle. Mm. Um, I'm going to use my three discount and I think I want to get a plus one. Whenever I get a champion, I get a, I get a free magic. That's pretty handy. But I think I might want to go for three points for every award I take. So I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take this card here. Not only that, but because it's an end condition, it's going to compile with this card over here. So that's three. That's the second one. It's actually seven uh, points. So it's going to cost me four, which takes me down to zero. So it was six. I had one card, it cost seven. My discount was three, which makes it four, and I had four. Okay. Adversary moves again. Okay, so I need to uh, start making things happen here. I have a brown. I um, kind of want to, so I'm going to go here to go grab another brown. I'm going to go here, grab a second brown. I'm going to grab a gem. Adversary moves, it's okay. And I am going to move myself here. I'm gonna grab this three, and I'm going to put something on this award and claim some points. So at that point, what am I gonna do? I think I am going to remove this over here. Now this says whenever I have a blue, it's it can act as a while. So I'm gonna take that there, I'm gonna put that on that reward and claim it. That's gonna give me seven points. I'll just do that now, it puts me up to 52. That also blocks the uh, uh, nemesis, my adversary, from having seven, now they only get five. Adversary moves again. And I'm pretty close to being to my minimum of dice. Um, I don't have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of magic. I have a lot of brown. Ooh, I can pretend something is a wild though. So I can pretend like something here is a green. Okay, Sarah. Really not much I can do. I'll go here uh, and I'll take a four. Okay, it gives me a two discount. And I think what I'll do is I'm gonna buy this here. This is an instant card, but I already have two instant cards. So that's gonna cost three. My discount is two. And believe it or not, I can't afford it. Unbelievable. I can't afford any card, so I just can't get anything. Oh well, that's how that goes, but at least I got the die. Adversary moves. Adversary comes over here, they complete a two point card. Now they're up to five. Uh, that's gonna give them nine points. They're gonna be at 51 points right behind me. It's gonna be my turn again, but we're down to three die, so I'm gonna replenish over there. Put this back. Put all these back in here as well. Two die. Two die. It's actually a tight game, but somehow this always gets blown apart at the end of the game. And I lose. Uh, but isn't that the story of all games? I replenish this up here. So it's getting pretty close. They're about to have seven. <sighs> okay. Um, I need a green. Well, I can't go there because he's going to land on me. And I'm on the other green, of course. <sighs> Miserable. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. I'm going to grab this two. I'm going to put this two in place of a brown two, and I'm going to get four coins. Gets me a little bit out of uh, bad luck's realm. Remember that now my blue can act as a wild, so that helps a little bit there. I'm still at 16. I have, I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab a three green. I'm going to replace that there. I have a green, a blue, and a red, which can help me get this card up here. And that's important, because if I can complete this card, not only will I get some victory points, it'll help me get this award up here and get seven more points. I might actually do that. And I do have a two-point discount of buying cards, so I can pull that off. Um, okay, so um, I went there. I grabbed that. Uh, adversary moves. Okay, so I got my green. Now, can I pull that off? I have a wild. I can flip that to a four. 
Um, I have a three. That's seven. I have 11. I would need five to manipulate, which I can't really do. Hmm. I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab another one. Changing plans. That's going to go there, but it gives me another gem for manipulation. Opponent moves again. So I can flip this to a six. I can flip that to a four. That's 10. Right? So I can make this a six. I can make this a four. Uh, or actually, that'll become a five. So that's 11. I need to get to 16. So I would actually have it if I did that. Because my my number is 16 and I could have it with all my manipulation. So I'm going to come back here to my camp. I'm going to buy this off the line. When I buy this off the line, I get a two discount. Which means instead of five, it's going to cost me uh, three. One, two, three. Just enough to pull it off. I'm going to pull this card into my camp. Okay, now I, I just have to pull it off. So... I'm going to spend one gem to flip my one into a six. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend another gem to flip my blue two into a five. So I'm at 11. And then I spend one magic, of which I have two, to roll my four red up to a five. And with that, I have completed it. Okay, so these are going to be out of the game. I've completed that. Now, when I've completed that at a level 16, again, that's going to give me 12 points. So I'm going to be at 64, and I get to unblock something here. I'm also going to fill this up. Mm. What do I want to unblock? One, two, three, four, One, two, three, four five. I mean, that's pretty close there. Um, let's see here. I can use all my die. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to unblock this one here. And what am I going to do? Am I going to take a arrow? I think I will take the arrow. So I'm going to get a bunch of bonuses here by doing the arrow. So let me move this out of the way and show you what's going to happen here. I'm going to put this here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is because that was an arrow card that I completed, I'm going to put this right there. Okay. Now, uh, that's going to give me two bonus points. One, two. Okay. It's also going to give me two more on my tracker, so I'm up to 18, which is actually pretty hard to get, but it also gives me a free die as well. Hmm. Okay, so I get a free die, but what do I want? Looking at what is out there, looks like there's three blue, there's a lot of brown, so I'm going to grab a brown. Yeah, so I'm going to grab this four brown. That brown will help me complete this in the future. So I took those two benefits, and I'm going to put that over here. Okay, and with that, the adversary moves. Okay, not doing so bad here. Uh, I am going to move here, and I have three arrows to complete this, three bow and arrows, so I'm going to put somebody there. Like, I feel like I'm actually like doing really well here. This is amazing. Uh, and I'm un uh, gonna unblock something. So I am going to unblock uh, one more die holder, and I'm gonna put it here. And that's gonna give me seven more points. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I rounded around seven, and that limits the adversary to just five. Adversary moves here. They're going to get this card. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're going to get that six card right there. It's a three-pointer, which I believe that's the 12 points. Yep. So they're going to go from 51 to 63. Not far behind. One, two, three, four, five. Ha. Okay. Getting tight here. And we're going to replenish. Now, can I pull off? At 18, I would have to have three sixes to pull off one of those cards. This one has four symbols on it, so I could use four die here, uh, but tough, tough call. I need to manipulate my die. I need to get, I need to get magic for manipulations, and I need to get um, gems. But I can't go to gems 
and I'm already, I can't go to gyms because he'll get two points, and I'm already on magic. So what will I do? I will go here. I'll take a one gray, and then I'll give me five money. So I'm on one that'll bump me up to six. Adversary moves there. I need to get more greens, browns, and magics. Again, I can't do it. I can't go where the adversary is. I can't go there because they'll land on me. So I will go... Hmm. I guess I will go here. I do see some grays on the board, but blues become wild. So that was a two. I'm going to take that two and put that on my board. Adversary moves. So essentially that's going to work as a wild for me. I'm okay with that. I'm going to move up here. I'm going to take the six and I'm going to grab a gem. And now we're down to three. So I have to replenish. I'll move for the adversary. Adversary moves there. Okay, so it'll be my turn when we come back. We're going to replenish this. Shake it all up. Shake it all up. I decided not to take questions during this because it's hard for me to split my attention. Sometimes I have a moderator who can help, but this is what we're doing in the meantime. Man, this is killer here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, two more turns and we're essentially done here. Okay, so it's going to be my turn. Is there any chance I can pull that off? I need to get a big old green. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to take this six. Whew. Put that six there. I'm going to take two magic and bump that up. Adversary moves here. Now, technically, I should be able to pull this off. I have I have um, a wild. I have two greens. I have a brown and a blue that I can treat as a wild. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my home base. Check this wild move out. Coming to my home base, I'm going to buy this off the line. I have a card that says I get a two discount. So it only costs me two coins. One, two. And this card comes into play. I have a six green. Good. I have a three green. That's nine. Uh, I have a brown four. That's 13. I need to get to 18, so I need five. This is a wild, so I can treat that as that. Uh, as a wild, the blue, I'm going to treat it as the brown. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend my one, two, three to roll this up to five. And what that's going to do is that's going to give me my 18. So with that as my 18, uh, I've completed that card. So, okay, so at 18, I get 15 points for that. So I go up to uh, three plus 15 puts me at 18 and I get to move something off my board. I'm going to move my one extra battle, and I have two greens I can use. I have two browns I can use, which I think I'm going to do. Okay. Uh-huh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that here. Because there's two browns, it gives me two more points. That puts me at 20. I'm feeling really good about this. Okay, at 20. That's going to give me one extra gem off the board because I completed that. So I have two gems feeling super dandy that goes over here i've now completed one two three four five six out of my seven adversary moves i actually have to pull these down please let it be low that's a three okay so they completed that one for three they get 12 more points so uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve they're at five okay they are at seven, and this says here, the adversary takes the seventh battle plan card after entering the shrine. The game ends immediately. Okay, so now we've got to figure out the score. So, um, the adversary is going to get five points here, five points here. So they're at five, so they're at 15. They're going to get seven points for that one right there. So they're at 22. So they're in the lead for now. However, I have end game scoring conditions which say I have all these points and I have this card here that says I get two points times every end game scoring condition card I have and I have two which is going to give me four points one two three four and I win boom by two ha <laughs> ha that is awesome I can't believe I won it's one of the few times I won all right well anyway that is a run through oh, I almost don't I, I, I want to enjoy it more but I know I got to wrap up that is the solo mode of Shadow Kingdoms of Valeria 
Really fast, really engaging, easy to play, but a lot of fun choices. If you have questions about gameplay, let me know. I'm happy to help you. Uh, subscribe to the channel. It's always fun to have new people. Thanks, everyone. And until next time, bye.